Hi everyone, welcome back. What I have today is a lock that was pinned up by Sidewinder and it was sent to me by Tony S. Absolutely great guy. There's the bitten on the key. At first with these um, on the key, the filings, I thought they were just because it was a hand file key. But when you do look inside, hopefully you can see that. Just in there you can see the first one is a ball bearings. And I think there's a few more in there, so it dampens the feedback quite a bit. But if you just roll over the ball bearings, you do get quite good, quite a good bit of feedback from that. I will be using pin side tension, and I'll be using a homemade tension and um, a homemade pick. Sorry about that. All the way at the back. Pin three. A little click out of four that was. Click out of two. Little movement on the core there, but that was a four. That was pin three. Got into a deep full set. That was pin four. And we do have an open. I think we got the open there on pin four. The camera may look like it's on a bit of a different angle, but that is because I've just got a new tripod. So bear with me a little bit. As you can see one of the legs of it there. We do have a key, so we'll lock it back up. Can't find my screwdriver at the minute, so I am using a tension wrench. Doesn't seem to want to come off. There we go. I will shim it as it is a challenge lock, and it did go into quite a deep full set. If I can get the shim in. I can already see some weirdness there. Weirdness there. Very nice pins I can see. Moment of truth if they've got ball bearings on all of them. Yep, we have a ball bearing there. Same in two. We'll take a look at the end. Doesn't look like there's anything really done. That one looks a bit wider than the rest. But doesn't look like there's anything else done to the car. Um, the car. Sorry about that. Good serrations, a T pin, standard, all standards, and 
another T pin in one. Let's take a look upstairs. As you can see, the follower wasn't quite big enough for it. Standard. Doesn't seem to want to come out, but I can already see. That it looks to be tampered with and whatnot. It's got a bit of a bent spring. But yeah, as you can see, it's been tampered with. So when you go into a full set, you sh you should have got caught up and not been able to pick it. But I didn't. I didn't get that, which I'm quite happy about. Got a serration in it. These look like quite strong springs. It looks like a key pin upside down. And I don't know where this has come from, so I'll put that up there for now. It looks like a wafer. Maybe from the next one. Go from the back. Standard. Another spring that doesn't seem to want to come out. And again, it looks like there's something done to that back bit. Take a look again. It does seem to be something done to that. It's bored out again. And there's your T pin. Looks to be on four. in there no just number one and five and that I would assume was for pin one and five T pins the key pins <coughs> and nothing else so with the ball bearings it does dampen the feedback but it didn't make the lock any more difficult unless I was just lucky with it You've got the little T pin in four, an upside down key pin made into a spool for three, little deep serration one side and not so deep on the other side, but awesome pick. Anyway, thank you for watching and bye for now.